Good morning, my name is Alberto Fernandez. I'm Secretary of the Directive Board of the Spanish Society for Endocrinology and Clinical Endocrinology in Mosteris University Hospital in Madrid. And, and I'm Maria Flecherio. I'm a professor of medicine and neurological surgery at Oregon Health Science University in Portland, Oregon, and the director of the Pituitary Center there. And it's such a pleasure to be here in Spain to the national meeting and to see all our friends and colleagues uh, that are working in neuroendocrinology. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Maria, for coming with us. These are a few questions. Uh, now we've had the talk about beyond cortisol to as a holistic approach. Why this title? What were the main key points that we should take away? Cushing syndrome is the most fascinating disease and it's so important that finally we are recognizing that it's important not to look just as cortisol control. Is cortisol normal and how to measure it? It's another issue. But also how the patients are feeling. Mm -hmm. Which patients are right for the right treatment? And we spend a lot of time and we had a lot of questions on that and we still don't have all the answer. And furthermore, getting to rapid control of the disorder will it improve the outcomes? Because we know that standardized mortality ratio is still almost three times higher than for, for normal population. So I think we're moving towards personalized treatment in Cushing's uh, syndrome as in other disorders, but we're far from where we, we have to be. Thank you, Maria. Um, uh, you said quite rightly that we need to move forward, and in order for us to do that, we need to engage the new generations into enrolling the new technology. What do you think, from the society's point of view, we should do to engage young endocrinologists into this field? Thank you for this question. This is really a passion of mine. And uh, when I was president of the Pituitary Society, I was striving to, to improve getting more, uh, and I would say early investigator, not younger, because otherwise it makes us look older. <laughs> uh, but I, the, the mentorship, I think it's the most important to Amen. get more people interested. I personally think that rare disorders, uh, pituitary diseases, especially acromegaly and Cushing's, are the most fascinating things that they can ever see. Yeah. Um, second, we are such an interesting um, group of people from all over the world uh, based in Europe, US, uh, South America, Asia, everywhere that are interested and we meet all the time and look at the consensus guidelines and all the, the collaborations that we have mm -hmm. and it's truly a pleasure to do research with, with people that are interested in the same small niche, true, but we can make a huge difference for, for patients with rare disorders that have been missed for, for many years. So I tell our fellows, and I'm curious to hear your perspective, that when finally the patients see us and say, you are the first one that knows uh, and sees patients like me, and it's almost like seeing myself in a mirror and being able to, to answer all, all the questions, and having a remission, because we can call cure, is really very fulfilling. But I'm curious, how about you? Because I think mentorship and increasing the, the earlier career investigators uh, in research is very important. So yeah. what do you do here? I completely agree with you. We try to hold several meetings in which the only economists and encourage to participate because they have their own forums where they uh, discuss cases with other young endocrinologists. Um, we could develop this mentorship problem there, but I was at what point of interest. I mean, even though the disorders that make the headlines in our field of interest are rare, cousin psychomegaly, uh, I think we can provide the best solid physiological background for things that are changing life for many people with common disorders. Look at um, anti-obesity drugs. They are drugs that are at hypothalamic level. True. And the main investigations that led to the discovery of this drug started in the hypothalamus. Yeah. Only that the diabetes people and the obesity people took them away. <laughs> but it's a new endocrine development. Uh, so, if you listen to us, neuroendocrinology is the coolest subspecialty around and you have all at least tried to do one project and then you'll see you'll be hooked for life. Yeah, <laughs> and it also leads us to discovery of how to treat and screen glucocorticoid adrenal insufficiency, opioid induced endocrinopathies. If you look and scratch a bit, I think we are 
we treat far commonalities artists than we think. Don't you agree? Uh, that, that's true. I, I see and we see in our clinic all the time. I'm more fascinating about the hyperfunctioning, but you are correct. Yeah. In, at populational level, I think both the hypothalamic disorders and the um, opioid dysfunction, but also hypogonadism, uh, if it's functional, not even tumors, we know that pituitary incidentaloma are so frequent mm -hmm. and how to, to treat them and yes, how exactly. to monitor without breaking the bank on, on MRIs would be very important also. Um, yeah, I, I completely agree. So I think we'll have a job for a while. Exactly. And we, we'll, we're trying to attract more, more colleagues. So yeah. how about acromegaly? Your uh, studies in, uh, in Spain are pushing the... the area for personalized treatment so can you comment on that yeah actually we have just published the acrophase study in which we compare the standard treatment after surgery with a personalized approach in which depending on some histological radiological and biochemical features uh, we could move a step forward earlier and we showed our group showed that uh, having this personalized approach not only improved the rates of biochemical control but more importantly, shorten the time until we reach this big yeah. chemical control. And this makes life worth living longer for people with psychomegaly. Yeah. So I, th I, I think that that was a fascinating study that we all say for years that we should do personalized treatment, it's better, but finally you showed mm. why it's better. So yeah. I think we should all um, copy it <laughs> by but giving you the copyright, of course. But, <laughs> but you know what the, thi the best thing about you know, technology is? I think it's having the chance to meet friends like you that come all over the world and show us how good they are, what proficient medicine, what proficient science they do, and more importantly, that we share some time and have fun with what we like, which is yeah, technology. I, I completely agree. I, I like to, to travel to national conferences. They are my, my passion. But of course, Spain has a special place <laughs> in, in my heart. So thank you again for, for inviting me. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks again.